the gate and they're off. Is a feeling with a good beginning. Flower Moon toward the outside to lead it down toward the rail. Not really, not really comes up on through. Christmas Poem is not far behind, holding her spot toward the rail. And at the back is Tap the Line Early. Five furlongs to go, and they're now chasing Flower Moon, who speeds off to lead by two. Tis a feeling up on the outside, grabs second. Christmas Poem is advanced inside to be third. Not really, not really is fourth by two. Delita comes away fifth by three and tap the line is at the back. Onto the far turn. Flower Moon, the leader, the leader by a length through an opening quarter in 22 seconds flat. So they round the far turn. They're now three for longs from home, and Flower Moon is the one to catch. Tis a feeling on the outside second. Christmas poem toward the inside third. Delita switched outside. Under pressure, racing fourth. Farther out, tap the line, forced to go four wide fifth. Not really, not really is the trailer. Top of the stretch now. Flower Moon turning for home. Still the one to catch. Tis a feeling is set down for the drive, but it's still second, though, getting closer. Farther back, it's tapped the line, and then it's Christmas Poem. They're heading for the final 16th. Flower Moon roused to an arrow lead. Tis a feeling surges up alongside and takes over right there at the 16th pole. And Tis a feeling wears down Flower Moon to win it by two. Tap the line was third, and Delita was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Devil's Tower hustled out of there. Road Bible with some speed. Cipriano down toward the rail. Il Butengadi in between and Pletcher's at the back. So down the back stretch they go. Devil's Tower has crossed and cleared, but here comes Road Bible now, tugging up the challenge from second. They head down the back stretch one, two. Pletcher comes on to take over third. Cipriano toward the inside, advancing up into fourth. Il Butengadi has been shuffled back, trailing the field, hustled along back there. Four for longs to go. Devil's Tower. Scampers clear onto the far turn. Opens up by a length and a half after an opening quarter in 22 and one for the second. So there's three for longs to go. And it's Devil's Tower rounding the far turn. Pletcher goes head to head with Road Bible. They're together second and third. Cipriano three lengths farther back and Ilbutengadi at the back of the pack. Coming for the top of the stretch and Devil's Towers in front. In front by three. Pletcher in a good battle with Road Bible. Cipriano's going to try and pick them up late. But in the meantime, Devil's Tower has opened up by five with just one for long to go. Cipriano runs up into second. The rest are struggling. They're all chasing Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower is going to glide under the wire to win it by six lengths in the end. Cipriano second by four. Road Bible and Pletcher. They're in the gate. And. They're off. Rob the bridge, bit of an awkward start. Darf off near the back of the pack. Feast fires out fast, and Feast takes the lead early. Freudian and Fate comes on to be second, and these two have gone too clear of yes, Sir Robert, who advances into third. Too bad, so sad is fourth by three. Then it's Rob the Rich, who's moved up one spot near the back. The early trailer is Grove Daddy in a strung out field down the back stretch run chasing Feast. Feast on top by two and a half lengths with four for longs to go. Whipped the opening quarter in 21 and four. Feast onto the far turn. Freudian fate down the chase. Yes, Sir Robert is honing in. Too bad, so sad is fourth within striking range. Four lengths back to Rob the Rich. Eight lengths back to Grove Daddy. They come for the top of the stretch, and Freudian Fate is looking for the lead. Feast is trying to go with that one, but Freudian Fate extends the lead out to a length off the turn. Freudian Fate the one to catch. Feast is fighting on toward the rail. Feast is not done yet. Those two brush briefly there. Freudian Fate has to dig in because Feast is coming back. Freudian Fate half-length lead. Feast put in a bid, rejected at the 16th pole. It's Freudian Fate in front. Feast fights to the finish, but is second best. Forty and Fate a sharp winner. Feast was second. Yes, Sir Robert was third. Too bad, so sad was fourth. And they're off. 
and Cloud Creek comes out running. Ridge Point is hustled up on through. Boneyard Harler toward the inside. Yolo Santiago outcome is there. Left Fletcher and Wild Appeal. So down the back stretch they go. Boneyard Holler comes on through to challenge Ridge Point for the lead and takes over with Yolo Santiago right there to the outside. Three wide third. Outcome is fourth. Wild Appeal is advancing up from fifth. Running son of a gun keyed up along in sixth. Summer in Malibu is racing seventh behind the curtain far outside moving up into eighth. La Fletcher's racing in ninth. Cloud Creek broke on top but is back into ten. That is a long way back to Papa Red who's been out sprinted so far. Round the far turn. Ridge Point Boneyard Holler and Yolo Santiago. The three of them are Across the track with three furlongs to go. The opening quarter in 22 and four. A margin of three back to Wild Appeal, who's waiting while fourth. Running son of a gun advances up fifth outside. At the top of the stretch, Ridge Point turning for home with Yolo Santiago. Boneyard Holler couldn't keep up. Running son of a gun is now third. They're racing for the eighth pole. Ridge Point set down for the drive. Yolo Santiago finishing with that one. These two head and head. Running son of a gun trying to close in on them from third. 16th pole. Ridge Point's back in front. Yolo Santiago responds right back. Ridge Point, Yolo Santiago to the wire together. Ridge Point won it. Ridge Point, a determined winner. Yolo Santiago couldn't quite get by. Farther back, it was either Summer in Malibu or Running Son of a Gun. They're in the gate. And they're off. Slow start for Mogowan. Jack's advantage broke alertly toward the inside as the field heads up the chute and comes for the main track. Showing speed as well is Golden Pen. Secretary at War is not far behind. And Improbable Stories in behind them. So they cross over with Golden Pence, the leader. It's a narrow lead. Secretary at war, prompting on the outside second. Jack's advantage tucked away toward the rail third. Taos up into fourth. Improbable Story is back fifth. Followed by where we going over to the inside, sixth by four. Creative Courage is second to last early. Slow starting Mogowan is the trailer. 23 seconds flat for that opening quarter mile. It's Golden Pence and Secretary at War going head to head to the far turn together. And Taos is not far behind, three wide third. And right there, too, is Jack's advantage in behind horses fourth. These first four tightly packed as they round the far turn. Secretary at war. An oncoming Taos. Taos outside of Secretary at war. Jack's advantage with clear sailing now, but is put to a drive off the turn. Creative Courage is catching up as well. Off the turn into the stretch. Taos short lead. Secretary at war fights on. Jack's advantage continues to plug away. Creative Courage continues to close outside. One for long to go. Jack's advantage comes away with the lead. Opens up by two. Now Creative Courage was into second and it's finished. Finishing fast. Jack's advantage, one length lead. Creative Courage trying hard. Can't get there. It's Jack's advantage, the winner. Creative Courage was second. Improbable story rallied for third. Towson Secretary at war. And they're off. Delightful breeze breaks alertly. Rock along races up two, and these two speed off together. It's rock along a little bit quicker early. Delightful breeze right there running along in second. Santa Elena comes on from third with Guajira. Spanish idol toward the inside is away fifth. Restless Eyes comes out running along in sixth. Running Happy is seventh. Sol Dorado is eighth. Hillstone Martini is at the back in ninth. Round the far turn. Rock along and Delightful Breeze going head to head. Guajira is hovering three wide right there just off the pace in third. Sun to Elena toward the inside, covered up fourth. Running Happy rolls up into fifth. Four wide bid there. Then it's Spanish Idol about six lengths off the lead. The field hits the top of the stretch. Delightful breeze. Rock along. Guajira. A sweeping move from Running Happy. And Santa Elena finds a seam in between. One for long to go. Running Happy has come away with the lead. Delightful Breeze fights on. Santa Elena coming through toward the rail. Guajira checked out of their 16th pole. Running Happy still in front. Santa Elena coming up the inside. Coming up the inside to win it. Santa Elena gets up in time over Running Happy. Delightful Breeze and Guajira. They're off. Improbable journey with a good beginning. Betty's ready. Flashing speed as well. 
Up the chute they go, racing for the main track, and it is Bet. He's ready, out to set the pace. Improbable Journey, second outside. All choked up, comes up the rail to be third. Grantham comes away, racing fourth. Mamzoos is on the move to grab fifth in tight. Galactic Empire trying to advance up on through from six. Circle back, Jack is right there to seventh. Rocket Dog on the outside is eighth by four. Fastlane is all the way back in ninth. Jeepers in tenth, and Southern Sense is the trailer. The leader, Improbable Journey, skittering clear to lead by two with four for longs to go. The opening quarter in 22 and three. So it's Improbable Journey on the far turn run in front by two and a half now. Grantham on the chase from second as Rocket Dog revs up on the outside. Rocket Dog is now second and coming after Improbable Journey. A break of five from there. Back to Betty's Ready, who's tailed off into fourth. Circle back Jack is fifth. Jeepers on the move from sixth. At the top of the stretch and Rocket Dog rolls up to take charge. Rocket Dog, a steady ascent through the field, has taken over and has opened up. Suddenly in front by three. And then it's Grantham on the outside trying to run up into second. Jeeper is late in the scene as Improbable Journey gives way. But they are all chasing Rocket Dog, who does it easily. Rocket Dog under the wire to win it by six lengths, maybe five in the end. Grantham was second. Jeeper was third. And Improbable Journey finished fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Florida Gator with a good beginning. Mr. Halftime hustled out of there, too. Red label from the downside post comes on as well. Scrambled is on early as they head up the chute and come for the main track. And down inside, it's Letty showing some speed with Come Alone now. Demogorgon is right there. Those three across the track. Red label backs off to be fourth. Mr. Halftime broke near the top, but is back fifth. Florida Gators racing sixth, and it's four lengths back to formal order. The early trailer. The early leader is Come Alone heading down the back stretch run. Come Alone in front over Demogorgon on the outside, running along second. Letty is tucked away third and at the rail. Red Label's in the clear fourth and only two and a half lengths off the lead. The round of the far turn, the quarter in 22 and three-fifth seconds. Long shot, come alone, trying to hold on to that lead. There's three for lungs to go. Demogorgon on the outside cranks up the pressure and Red Label is revving up too. And Letty is set to strike while in behind. Florida Gators catching up fifth and only two lengths off the lead. It's wide open, top of the stretch. Red Label comes off the turn and grabs the lead. Letty has cleared sailing now. Florida Gators flattened out a bit, racing third. Demogorgon is back to fourth. There's one for long to go. It's Red Label in front and opening up. Red Label in front by four now. Florida Gator in a good battle with Letty for second and third, but it's all Red Label down to the finish, and Red Label scores by four. Florida Gator second, Letty was third, and Mr. Halftime was fourth. There is the gate. And they're off. And tossing the rider at the start. Bon Bueno. Bon Bueno toss the rider at the start. Scattershack sets out for the lead. Chileno comes through toward the inside and takes the lead into that first turn. Scattershack is running along in second. Tiger Moon comes on three wide from third. Heston tucked away fourth and at the rail. Encourages four wide, moving up into fifth. Verbier sixth. Magilla in seventh. Gilded Age is at the back of the pack as the field heads for the backstretch run. Please report Ricardo Santana Jr. up and on his feet after that incident at the break. The opening quarter goes in 24 and one fifth seconds. Chileno heading down the backstretch run. The leader as that loose horse uh, crosses and clears over them. Chileno had to steady briefly there. Scattershack, meanwhile, sneaks up on the outside and puts a nose in front. So Scattershack and Chileno going head-to-head -head with four furlongs to go. A break of two back to Tiger Moon on the outside of Heston. They're together third and fourth. Four more lengths back to Encourage in fifth. Verbier sixth. Gilded Age seventh. And McGill is at the back in eighth. So onto the far turn, Scattershack and Chileno head to head with three furlongs to go. The opening half in 48 and three. Four lengths back. Heston is now a clear third. Gilded Age, Gilded Age finding stride, fifth, fourth, third, and quickly closing in outside. And then it's Tiger Moon followed by Encourage. They come for the top of the stretch. Chileno and Scattershack head to head. Gilded Age is bearing down with a three wide sweep to the front. 
Gilded Age has taken over. Chileno has to fight back. Scattershack is back into third. There's one for long to go. It's Gilded Age in front, in front by two. Chileno and Scattershack continue to battle, but they're battling for second and third because first goes to Gilded Age. Gilded Age by two and a half, maybe three in the end. Chileno, Scattershack, Encourage, Verbier.